हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू इंडियन सोसाइटी एंड प्रिंस जॉन बाय हरनी द बैटमैन नोलन मनोज वरुण एंड स्वप्ने एंड वी आर डूइंग यू नो रैप अप ऑफ डीसी फैंडम वी वर सपोज टू वर लाइफ दैट इन आई रिपीट दैट सो मेनी टाइम्स बट वी जस्ट यू नो गो थ्रू द होल इवेंट क्विकली एंड जस्ट आर थॉट्स ऑन ईच थिंग दैट ड्रॉप एंड आर ओवरऑल थॉट्स ऑन दिस फैंडम इवेंट सो विल स्टार्ट विद हरनीत फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट इट वॉज ओनली फोर आवर्स लॉन्ग so we did not watch all four hours the thing concluded uh, will be taken by somebody else but i want to talk about black adam here like we have been waiting you know for first looks for a while now and this was the legit for first look of the uh, movie you know we have been seeing behind the scenes but all animated pictures nothing you know a live action move even a image nothing was there so we saw the first look of his costume we saw the first look of how he's going to come out of his you know uh, imprisonment yeah so yeah so that is something that i was hoping for what are they going to do but one thing that didn't show is the plot of the ancient times that they are going with where yeah. dr with the hawk girl there. and hawk yeah. hawk man and all right yeah hawk man dr fate and you know atom smasher so all these people are there and they didn't show any of it any of their costumes any of their you know what are they going to look like anything yeah. anything but the one thing that i liked was they are doubling down on how dark this is going to be that he you know just holds a person and cooks him to death yeah uh, and you know that was pretty amazing to watch actually and the suit is very you know in contrast with shazam suit so shazam suit is red but it's also very you know happy and outgoing kind of a suit and it's very black adam suit is very rugged and more metally kind of a suit like uh, it's yeah. not very welcoming kind of a suit so yeah. it's very dark and it's not supposed to be welcoming but there is an element of you know that metal and hardcore yeah. kind of a thing that going on with this costume and the hood Robust. is pretty nice yeah yeah that's the whole thing and it gave me a vibe of lara croft as i said in the hmm. trailer as well the, yeah. the tomb raider kind of vibe so that's nice like they're going with they they started with and they gave us something of modern times but we'll obviously see uh, something in the asian and maybe in the next trailer we'll get uh, looks at dr fate and also peers you know the james bond actor i can't remember the name pierce brosnan <clears throat> pierce, pierce brosnan so like yes, i want to see him like what is he actually going to look like we saw in the concept yeah. art and all but you know let's yeah. just wait for that but guys yeah. do check out our uh, reaction to uh, all the trailers <laughs> we put it out <laughs> <laughs> whatever do it uh, but from there we let's go to shazam 2 varun yeah shazam 2 uh, i think i was expecting a teaser but you know they showed yeah. the behind the scenes footage and all that but i i guess that makes sense because it is it is not like you know it's not a grounded film or anything like it will have a lot of vfx and all that so they are probably working on that but uh, yeah even the behind the scenes footage like the new suit looks good uh, all the kids have like i think grown up become teenagers yeah. now so uh, yeah i think <laughs> yeah, they still they like, look quite taller Yeah, so I think that is there. But other than that, I think uh, you know it looked good. Uh, uh, I think this time, you know, and the behind the scenes, like they showed that they are going to have like a lot of uh, like those mythical creatures and all that. Uh, and there, there will be like a lot of different settings. I think uh, they are going to like uh, Olympus or something like ancient Greek gods and all that. So I feel like this is like they are they are doing more what uh, I think Wonder Woman sequel should have done, but. Uh, I yeah. think I mean it will still be like fun. To what, see what are you talking like about? That. that was a near perfect sequel. There's no issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not go there again, Manoj. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I am hoping for uh, some sort of connection between uh, uh, this film and Black Adam, and uh, I guess they might tease it in this or in Black Adam or something. But yeah, I, eventually, like it has to connect. I cool. think I'm also interested in like uh, David Sandberg. He's like a YouTube filmmaker who made it yeah. to the big league. So. I'm always I really like the guy a lot. Like I yeah, follow yeah. his channel. I watched his horror short films, and from where he started to actually making Shazam, mm-hmm. I think that's just great. So I think just as a guy, he's amazing. So I will always look forward to all of his films. So I'm just really excited for Shazam too as well. Uh, so from there, let's go to the games. Uh, so apne. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we actually did get to see two games in particular. So uh, this is. Uh, Kill the Justice League, uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. This was made by Rocksteady, if I'm not wrong, and Gotham Knights uh, official. Yeah, the Court of the Ma- Court of the Owls. Owls. So yeah, this this one is by WB Montreal, as uh, Manoj brought to my attention. What I grasp from the trailer is that uh, the Suicide Squad game would be more gameplay oriented, like uh, that'll have more you know uh, action and you know. Bombastic 
uh related stuff more like uh, you know just cause type of thing like you know it's more of a spectacle chaos yeah. that kind of game and for gotham knights i feel that that game is going to be more story oriented like how the arkham series arkham knights in particular if i uh, remember That's correctly kind of thing. yeah that was that was very much you know story based and this one i think will be much darker than that as well uh, yeah. but i Personally, I'm more uh, gravitated and more uh, excited for Gotham Knights. Both of the games look really good, and both of the studios also have very good past, uh, you know, record of putting out good games. I do hope both of them are really good, and uh, I expect that from uh, DC games. But yeah, yeah, more more excited for Gotham Knight. Yeah, I think a Play- Justice League is a very unconventional game, like. You're playing yeah. as a Suicide Squad, take on just, but it's very yeah. exciting. Just the concept. Yeah, of yeah. Like, yeah it's it, yeah. Just go on, go on. Justice League in any form. <laughs> yeah, see, there were a lot of rumors yeah. that they were working on a Superman game, then they were working on a Justice League game, and now we ended up with this. So maybe they learned from what they made, and they maybe they did, things didn't work out exactly. And they're they like, to. so they're like, we can't be the Justice League, so we we'll fight. There is this Still power is. dynamic that goes with like the Injustice game. They had this thing like, how can Green Arrow fight Superman? No, so they yeah. had yeah. this pill thing going on. Yeah. Yeah, about yeah. so yeah. in this game i think they went with suicide squad as a playable character because they didn't want to go justice league as a play- playable character mm-hmm. because they will be too overpowering yeah so they, do, they can't go again with that pa- pill thing or yeah. pill thing so they had to come up with something where you know the less powered character you can play with and you, do, true, you true. so you have to take on the big bads a uh, big boss yeah. Yeah, and I game. think they have amped mm-hmm. up the character. Like Captain Boomerang has super speed and stuff like that. So yeah. they have amped yeah. up the characters in a way. But yeah, it looks like he has a teleporting boomerang. Yeah. 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 But I think the, I I think the Suicide Squad took the pill now. <laughs> <laughs> like Harley Quinn, right? Mean... So in any case, he's not going to get superpowers in the game. So how yeah. are you gonna play her and fight Superman, you know, Batman and the, that kind of stuff? Kryptonite baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> Might be. Probably. Yeah, it could probably be. Yeah. I but uh, I don't, yeah, I don't really, you know, agree with her need because uh, generally it is like the overpowered super superheroes are fighting relatively underpowered uh, villains, right? Mm-hmm. And villains are causing them problems. So I don't think it is the power but dynamic thing. It is just that. that to a game, I guess. Yeah, but it is yeah, exactly. It is just that then it is put up to the player, right? He what as a as a villain or as a person who is not as powerful as the gifted superheroes. What are you gonna do? Because you already know that they cause problems for the superheroes. Now, what are you yeah. gonna do in that situation? And here it is uh, more like you know these bunch of all the villains are mostly misfits, right? So these yeah. bunch of misfits, how do they come together to take on uh, a supposedly coordinated group of superheroes who are now corrupted and right? so that is the main tagline i feel true true totally yeah. Yeah. Uh, so i'll just uh, go through the cw shows i think uh, supergirl had a farewell uh, they just showed behind the scenes yeah. for superman and louis also they showed behind the scenes for behind season scenes, 2 yeah. and uh, for the flash i think they showed they, he'll finally have golden, golden boots, boots which was i think already leaked from the set photos but uh, yeah. they put out an official image uh, and uh, I think about, apart from that, Doom Patrol had a trailer, I guess. Uh, Titans, uh, they showed some scenes. Legends uh, also had it. a Yeah, Legends also had a trailer because the 100th episode is coming up. Uh, we'll yeah. be maybe reacting to that. Let's see. But uh, I think apart from that, nothing major uh, out there. But from there, let's go to the Flash movie, Manoj. I think the Flash movie just uh, took us all by a little bit of a surprise, I think. It was not really the talk of the fandom going in. Everyone was talking about Batman, I think, more than the Flash because... People are like, what is happening with the Flash? Like, so much stuff yeah, is coming out. They postponed it so many times. And so yeah. many set photos. So many. But I think this was really intriguing. And I, I love the fact that the focus was completely on Ezra. Like, throughout the trailer, like, he, he was in the forefront. And we got glimpses of the Michael Gaten Batman. Even Literally maybe, had two Ezra's. <laughs> yeah, we got two Ezra's. So they were like, you know, overcompensating, basically. Yeah. Overcompensating so, for all the previous hype. <laughs> Probably, and we got even a glimpse of Supergirl. That was great. Like just her standing behind. So they're like, I you could have got two Flash yeah. movies. Okay, have two Flashes in one yeah, movie. <laughs> have two of them in the same movie. But I think you know this. It looks like they are going for the Flashpoint storyline. At least they are adapting it in some way or form. I think when he saves his mother, maybe that opens up this alternate sort of 
paradox, you know, the whole multiverse thing. That's probably what they're going for. But we never know. They might still change things up. They might, they might be just fooling us right now with some footage. But I think overall, it looks really great. I think his suit looks amazing. Like in some shots, it looked a little off, but it's the helmet production. actually didn't look that nice. But yeah. the suit in itself is very nice. True, especially with the light, <clears throat> the yeah. lights. It yeah. looked the amazing. Lights, so yeah. It, I, I think like, like, like Harneet said, like you know, it reminded mm-hmm. us of the Flashpoint Paradox suit in the end. Yeah, the animated yeah. And, and, and yeah, the end suit. It was pretty nice. So yeah. I think overall it looks, it, and I think he'll be having yellow lightning. I, I didn't really notice it very closely if he had yellow, yellow lightning in this, but I think overall it, did, it looks. It did. It did. I think so, when he traveled to his mother's house, it did. And I, think I do it check also, out her reaction also. Yeah, it also had that spark. So I think they're yeah. adapting, they're taking influence from Zack Snyder also, just the way how the electricity moves. Of course so, you want that. Yeah, I will link everything <laughs> together. So I think, but, see, I think uh, it looks... I think yeah. it looks great. I think it's the only uh, thing uh, you know we were talking about. Like it was not a trailer that we were expecting. It was hmm. way off the thing that we were expecting. We were looking more of a cheerful kind of a trailer, of, you know, not cheerful, hmm. but you know, a bright kind of a trailer. But hmm. you know, they you are started dubbing. the reaction like, "What is this? This is last trailer," and then suddenly, yeah, so, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> you know, I, when I clicked on it, I was like, "Is this the right trailer I'm watching? Is the right video?" Because it was not like it was actually not supposed to be like this. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I think the I, I do have faith in the director. I think he will be able to deliver a good movie. So I think that's kind mm-hmm. of where we ended. But, but and yeah. from there, let's go to the Batman, the Batman himself. The, the I think one, I <laughs> the reaction where we stop Black Adam. Batman with the bun. Yeah, yeah. Talk uh, about your rivalry against Kingpin and about your bad car. <laughs> Talk to us about those things. Oh God. <laughs> Guys, to get that reference, kindly check out our other videos. All the reactions. <laughs> but go ahead, yeah. go ahead. What do you go think ahead. about the Batman? I think I could say it for everyone that just like in fandom where everyone was, didn't care about the rest and were just waiting for the end to see the Batman trailer. I guess everyone who's watching this video also did the felt the same <laughs> like my favorite scene would be the part where he jumps down and it's like in the game. Yeah. The shock wave and like I I'm curious to see this guy Andy Circus play Alfred. Yeah. So that's that's a really different from his yeah. usual roles. And it does upon that in the reaction also. Yeah. Yeah. The and, ape is Alfred in this. Like. <laughs> oh, I yeah. really I really want him to call Bruce my precious. Like please, oh my God. <laughs> please. <laughs> Can we have that? Angry Batman, okay. <laughs> and, and Colin Farrell, oh my God, you can't even make out that yeah. he's Colin Farrell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Nona thought he was King Kingpin. Pen. <laughs> hey, okay, stop it. Huh? That was the game I said, Kingpin. Not in this, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I think the Batman mm. was, I think the standout the highlight and it was supposed to be and looks amazing matt reeves is gonna give us a amazing batman movie uh yeah. and i think apart from that we had i think super pets uh, uh yeah nothing super much nothing about much. it small, and uh, we had some comics announcements some uh yeah, sandman i guess filler yeah. <laughs> between <laughs> the flash trailer and the batman but trailer. okay let's come to for final <laughs> thoughts about the thing i think manoj oh, yeah, has the final thoughts for the us young justice release right oh, Guys, yeah. young justice any release. young justice fans out here the first two episodes of season four just Shh. came out okay on where we no, don't officially. know officially no, officially they came out okay. officially. Cool. I mean, cool, cool. they also cool. came out with friends. no we don't know if they also came out somewhere <laughs> <laughs> we might have they might have but anyways yeah. uh manoj let's wrap up see the whole I think overall overall it it didn't quite reach the same effect impact of last years i think last year it was a it was a big event like they were, like and they had a very big schedule I, I remember looking forward to each panel, you know, because there was something new. Like, even if it was a comic book panel, I was they looking forward to it. They planned it out more last time. It's true. true. And this year, mm-hmm. it was because there was no schedule. Like, I'm just like, I'm waiting for something and I know I, I don't know when it's going to come out. And I keep watching all these, like, all these, you know, uh, cool stuff. But still, I'm not fully invested in it. The, so sculpt- I, I'm just the like, sculptures? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm just like, dude, I'm like watching this at 1.30 midnight. And the I'm Meshti the... hats. <laughs> <laughs> they were like showing hats and the guy. The Naomi the... show or something. Naomi like is that. again fine. Like, I think that was interesting. Yeah. But they were showing hats. They were like, you know, why don't you buy a hat? Who wouldn't want a hat? I'm like, I don't want a hat. Come on. <laughs> 
it was i won the batman <laughs> so i hope uh, next year they make it a little bit more scheduled like give proper panels like make it bring it to that old format even if you're doing it 12 hours or 4 hours whatever it is bring yeah. it to a proper format i think i would enjoy that a lot more i think overall it didn't quite reach the impact of last year i mean last year it was the first time and there was a snider cut there was so many like even batman see, see you came game. to the point Obviously, i was just waiting yeah. for it yeah waiting <laughs> snider cut yes of so, course I, I, i mean that's true actually yeah, yeah but see, and you know like, honestly I, honestly the amount of people uh, online even with me talking about snider cut uh, you know they'll announce something or the air cut of society i'm like no not happening and it yeah, didn't happen announce it but you know you could say the hype is not quite there but yeah. anyway i think mm-hmm. overall uh, i hope they learn from the mis- not mistakes but at least from my point of view the mistakes that they made and i hope next year they give a better event all right guys <laughs> let's go to disney <laughs> on november 12 <laughs> hey still a dc fan at heart <laughs> yeah but guys uh, that was us uh, for the dc fandom it was a great event uh, we tried something it didn't work out but it's all right but if you enjoyed our videos do like subscribe and support the channel uh, for more content in the future and we'll see you next time keep kicking out See ya.